Hi students, uh, so welcome back to our sessions on cost and management accounting. So today is the last class for cost and management accounting and next we will go with the financial management. So our last topic is learning curve and last video which is class number 28 we gave the introduction about the learning curve and how the problems of learning curve will be. So one type of problem will be like using the learning curve equation y is equal to a x power b and other type of problem would be how the learning rate is applied to find the average labor uh, average labor hours for every quantity doubling okay the, when every quantity is doubled the time taken for making the quantity will be the time taken for the first unit multiplied by the learning rate so that 80 percentage or 90 percentage learning rate that will become the average time taken per unit for manufacturing the further quantity this is because of learning effect so learning effect is your time time taken for making the product will reduce gradually over the period of time as your experience as the expertise you are gaining expertise while making the product your time taken for doing that product will go down so that is learning curve now these two same problem we are going to discuss in the last class also but little the complexity level is little high let's go inside the first problem so as i said in the in my last class also if you see a problem in your question paper on learning curve please attend it because it is as easy as pro the, uh, it is as easy as possible so here you can see this question is so big and if it is printed in your question paper with a big font size it may take up even one and a half page i suggest if you have some alternate question to answer and you know that very well you can go ahead with that instead of spending time in reading the full question but understand that this is learning curve this is very easy problem okay and then you think for the further option do you have any small problem which can be read in the question paper in a very short time and you are very sure of that answer then you go for that question or else do not leave learning curve learning curve is very easy reading the question will take a lot of time maybe during the re reading of the question you can underline the important points so that you need not go and search all the values while solving the problem okay so i suggest go for learning curve but if you are so much familiar with the standard costing and other alternate choices that you have then you can leave the learning curve but learning curve is very easy have that in mind okay next we will read this long mighty question that plc experience difficulty in its budgeting process because it finds it necessary to qualify the learning effect as the new products are introduced so learning effect they want to bring it okay substantial product changes occur and result of need uh, for retraining okay so the effect of training will be also measured in the learning curve only when they are trained their learning effect will be seen then only they will do the same activity in most fa faster uh, faster time okay so an order of 30 units so 30 units order of new product is received 14 has been completed so 14 items product has been already made first unit took 40 labor direct labor hours so the second unit would have taken something lesser third unit something more lesser so that is called learning effect and the total of 240 direct labor has been recorded for the 14 units so in the production department in the shop floor they will maintain a log book in the log book 240 direct labor hours are recorded the production manager expects uh, expects 80 percentage learning effect so the production manager you are a finance manager and you are asking the production manager and he is saying that 80 percent learning curve is applicable you as a finance manager has to check whether it is 80 percent is correct or not that is what is the first question so here determine whether the assumption of 80 percentage learning effect by the production manager okay it is correct or not we know the standard formula y is equal to a x power b what is a time taken for the first unit that you have made which is 
40 hours, 40 direct labor hours they have given that data. X is the cumulative number of batches that is produced. Already you have produced 14 numbers. So that is 14 and index of learning. We know very well what is index of learning. I have also discussed this in our last video for 80% learning rate index of learning is 0 0.322 you can take it as minus 0 0.322 because the learning curve is downward facing so when the curve comes down the new uh, the power will be in the negative so minus 0 0.322 so 40 into 14 power minus 0 0.322 apply log on both sides which we discussed in our last uh, class and then you can take anti log and find the value of y it comes to 17.14 where the students makes the mistake 17.14 they will treat as a time taken for making 14 units no it is the average time taken for one unit average time taken per unit for making 14 units. So for 14 units, what is the time? 17.14 into 14 will be 239.96 is equal to approximately 240 hours. So 80% learning effect we, we have assumed. That's why the B learning coefficient, the B value is 0 0.322. So, 240 hours is nothing but 80 percentage learning effect. So, which means what production manager claims as 80 percentage learning effect is perfectly right. And you as a finance manager has validated this. Okay. So, have that in mind. And you see the beauty of the learning curve. The first unit, the first product they made in 40 labor hours and 14th product, when they are making the 14th product, the average time taken for per unit for the 14 units is only 17.14. From 40, this has reduced to 17.14. That is the beauty of learning curve. Okay. So, I just want to discuss in between the question, the answer for the first question. So, we have completed the first part. Next, we will go to the further part. What else is given? The company uses a standard absorption costing, uh, absorption, absorption costing. The direct cost attributed uh, are given below. Direct material, direct labor per hour rate is given. Variable overheads is 0.5 per direct labor hour only. So absorbed uh, as per direct labor hours. And fixed overhead is 6,000 rupees for the four week operating period. So four week in a month, they are operating in a four week. And there are 10 employees. They are working five days in a week. Okay. And for how much week? For four weeks. And for each day is 8 hours per day. Okay. So personal and other downtime allowances is 25 percentage. So whatever is the total man hours the company has, 25 percentage is like a convenience time. So they will go for their lunch or from break or from tea time or something like that. So 25 percentage of time is non-productive time. So the remaining productive time is only 75 percentage of the time. Okay. So, these are all the data that is given in the question. So, the second question is, let us go to the second question. So, calculate the number of direct labor hours likely to be required for an expected second order of 20 units. So, friends and students, this is learning curve. So, second order of 20 units. What is the first order? It is not 14. It is 30 units. So, 30 units is the first order. And after completing the first order, you will start producing the second order, which is 20 units. So, Y is equal to A X power B. A is the time taken for the first unit, 40 hour multiplied by 30 units is the first order that we got power minus 0 0.322 apply log. And we discussed this in our last class itself. We also discussed about how to use the log book and anti-log scale and log scale. How to find the values we discussed. Please see class number 28. And you can solve this and you can find this 13.380 hours is the average time per unit for making 30 units. Now, now you have to find for the 50 units. So, 30 plus new order has come for 20. So, 30 plus 20 is 50 units. 
So y is equal to a x power b. Now the x or the batch size is 30 plus 20 is 50 and the average time will fall from 13 hours it has come down to 11.35 hours. Now what is the total time for 30 units? 13.38 for 1 unit multiplied by 30 and same way 11.35 for 1 unit multiplied by 50 will give you the time taken. Now what is the time required for 20 units second order which is the total time for 50 units minus total time for 30 units. So 567.5 minus 401.4. This is the difference. This difference of approximately what is the value? 166 or something. So that is the time required or direct labor hours required for making the 20 units second order. So that is the number of less. So we have answered the second question also. Use the cost data given to produce the estimated product cost for the initial order. For initial order, we have to find the co product cost. Examine the problem which may be created for budgeting in the presence of learning effect. So, we are going to create the costing, the total cost involved for the initial first order. What is the first order? 30 units is the first order. For that, we are going to cost that order. So, what is the cost for making that first order of 30 units? Okay, that is what we are going to find. And we know one thing, the total labor hours required for 30 units is 401.4. Now, let's go and solve. Okay, so the first thing is material cost that is given 30 per unit. We are taking for 30 units, 30 into 30, 900. 401.4 is the direct labor hours and per hour it is 6 rupees multiplied by 6, 2,408. There is no doubt in it. Variable uh, overhead is 0.5 per direct labor hour. 0.5 into 401.4. That is 200.7. Perfect. Next, fixed overhead is for the period. They have given 6,000. But now we are applying the learning effect. So what is the total man hour? There are 10 direct labors given in the question. And they are working for 8 hour in one day. And for how much days they are working? They are working for uh, 4 weeks. And each week is having 5 days in their time. So the total man hours is 1600 and it is also given in the question 25 percentage of time is going for their benefit like lunch time or break time or tea time. So 25 percentage you are cutting the valuable or uh, valuable uh, time productive time is 1200 hours only. So fixed cost is 6000 divided by 1200 per hour it is 5 rupee because we have direct labor hour we are absorbing the fixed cost also as per the direct labor hour because we are quoting for the initial order of 30 units and we have the 30 units what is the direct labor hour 401.4 multiplied by the 5 rupee per hour fixed overheads is absorbed so total cost is coming to 5516 so what is the problem you will have in the budgeting okay during the budgeting process Budgeting will take only the 40 hours that the production manager will say approximately 40 hours is required for the first unit. So while budgeting what you will do, uh, what you will do 40 hours per unit multiplied by the 6 rupees is the labor hour. So your budget is 40 into uh, 40 hours for the first unit multiplied by the 30 unit. So 40 into 30 is 1200, 1200 into 6 rupees which goes uh, to 7200 okay so it is way higher it is very high so this is what as a budgeting guy you will do this as a budget so because of coming to the learning effect the time has drastically dropped and this effect is brought in while doing the costing of this order so while quoting to the uh, what is the price for this product you are taking into account the learning effect so learning effect is reducing the cost and thereby making your product more competitive of course you have to ensure that all the cost has been taken back by the price so here the learning effect is applied because the company is confident that further orders will also come because of this lower cost and lower price I am quoting to the outside world there will be lot of customer who will be willing to take my uh, product and that's how I am going to take back my complete fixed cost so here only 2007 you are taking back but 6000 is your cost so remaining left out cost has to be taken only with the further order the company will receive 
the company is trying to intelligently apply the learning effect so that their cost will be less and the price will be less and for that price they will receive the tender or they will receive the contract or they will receive the more customer order okay so yes let's move on to the last problem for this uh, session your firm received an order to make and supply eight units is the order intricate labor operation the first unit requires 10 hours to make it is understood that this type of operation is subject to 80 percentage learning effect so this is the second type of methodology as and when the quantity of that you have made is doubled the average time taken to make will be the learning rate multiply the time taken for the first unit okay let me come to that once again so 80 percentage learning effect and workers or wage rate is 12 rupee per hour so total time uh, and labor cost required to execute the above order so we have seen very similar problem in the first uh, class there is one complexity that that is also in the second question that's why i took this problem also for our video so product one it is made at 10 hours and uh, 12 rupee per hour is the labor cost so 10 into 12 is 120 is the cost of making of the first unit so second unit so one is doubled so whenever you are double the average time taken will be multiplied by the learning rate so 10 multiplied by the learning rate 80 percentage will become 8 so two units are made average time is 8 so 2 into 8 is going to be 16 is the total time taken for two product and uh, multiplied by 12 is 96 is the average labor cost per unit okay and uh, for the two product it's going to be 192 rupee is the cost of making two product now the two is doubled two into two is four apply the learning effect so eight is the eight multiplied by 80 percentage eight multiplied by the 80 percentage comes to 6.4 is the average time so 12 is the labor cost and what will be the average labor cost per unit 6.4 into 12 is 76.8 now 76.8 is average time per unit for how many units for you own four units so 4 into 76.8 comes to 307.2 is the cost labor cost for making four units same way you can apply it for four doubling the four it becomes eight eight into two is 16 and 16 to 16 into two is 32 why we are calculating till 32 we are coming to that if the repeat order for 24 units you have got a repeat order so what is the first order first order for 8 units and repeat order for 24 units so totally how much you are going to make 24 plus 8 which is 32 numbers so i am putting for 32 numbers what is the cost that for that only we are calculating the table till 32 what is the labor cost necessary for the second order for the first order what is the cost 8 units the cost is 491.52 for making 32 units it is 1258 for the second 24 order what is the cost 1258 minus 491.52 will be the cost for the second repeat order of 24 numbers okay so students all the very best for your examination with this cost and management accounting is over Next, we will discuss with the financial management. Thank you, guys. All the best.